Are you fond of reading books, magazines, and other printed materials? Have you seen abbreviations that you did not fully understand? If your answer is yes, this video is right for you. Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Kat and welcome to Kitchen Vlogs. Today we'll be talking about two Latin abbreviations such as IE and EG. In this video, you will surely learn if you watch me until the end. Let's begin after this intro. <laughs> An abbreviation is a shortened form of a word. In writing, abbreviations are useful when you have to squeeze a lot of writing into a small space so that the sentences will be easier to read. The abbreviation IE stands for ed -est, which means that is. Now for you to easily understand or remember its meaning, you have to take a look at the I in IE and I in it. Also put into mind that you have to put a comma after the period in E, especially when you have to use it in a sentence. Say for example, I got into trouble for not following my parents' instruction, i.e. after curfew. Or you could also write it this way, I got into trouble after not following my parents' instructions, that is after curfew. On the other hand, the abbreviation EG stands for exemplographia, which means, for example, to easily remember its meaning, we have to take a look at the E in EG and E in exempli. Just like what we did in IE, we also have to put a comma after the period in G, especially when you have to use it in a sentence. Say, for example, Asian countries EG Japan, China, and South Korea are doing very well economically. You can also write it this way. Asian countries, for example, Japan, China, and South Korea are doing very well economically. EG and IE are both Latin abbreviations. EG provides one or more possibilities. On the other hand, IE provides a more precise information. Just take a look at these examples. The first sentence goes like this. After work, I'll visit to that newly built arena, that is, Stardo. Look at the second sentence. After work, I'll visit to a newly built arena, for example, Stardome or Fantasy Dome. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned something from me. Remember to use IE and IG correctly. See you on my next uploads. Goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe.